welcome students students in the previous module i have taught you how to find the value of means the determinant of any square matrix today we are going to discuss about a topic which is called as singular matrix so what is the meaning of the term singular matrix i have written here on the board just pay attention let a be a square matrix then a is called to be singular if the determinant of a is equals to 0 that means if any square matrix is provided to you and if you are calculating the determinant of that particular matrix and the value obtained is 0 then we call it as what matrix it is called as a square matrix singular matrix am i clear and otherwise a is said to be non singular that means if the determinant value that is i can write here the a means the determinant of a is not equals to 0 so we can call it as a non singular matrix so based on this, let us do two sums here. And this, the first sum which I have written is a very important sum in ISC, two or three times it has been asked. So in this question, what is given? If the matrix A is equals to 6, X2, 2, minus 1, 2, and minus 10, 5, 2 is a singular matrix, find the value of X. So it's very clear, children, here from the matrix that it's a 3 by 3 matrix. So first of all, this is a singular matrix. Since I'll write here A is a, what matrix? Tell me, it's a singular matrix matrix so and we have just studied the condition for the singular matrix that is the determinant of a will be equals to zero now our first target is to calculate the determinant of a and what i have taught you in the previous module that if i have to calculate the determinant of a square matrix we are going to do what we are going to take the sum of the product of the elements and its cofactor of any particular row or column of the given matrix so let's start with the first row so here i am writing here six and then and what is the position of 6? The first sign will be always plus. So I'll write here plus. Now this row and this column will be omitted. So we will be having minus 1, 2 and then 5 and 2. Again then I'm going to write here minus x because the second position is minus. This row and this column will be omitted. So this is 2, 2 then it is minus 10 and we are ha again having what here 2. Am I clear or not? So as we are calculating for this particular element x, so this row and this whole row will be completely means omitted. So 2, 2, minus 10 and 5 and then plus the last element. So what is the last element? Plus it is what 2 of that particular row and this row and this column will be omitted. So this will be equals to 2, minus 1, then minus 10 and it is 5 equals to 0. So let us solve children here. So this 6 will be 6 here. 2 into minus 1 will be minus 2 and minus 5 to the 10. Then it is minus x here. 2 into 2 is what here? 4 and 10 to the minus 20 and in between there is a minus sign. So this will become plus of 20 and then plus of 2 here it is 5 to the 10 minus minus plus. So again there is a minus sign in between. So I'll write here what? 10 and then again minus 10 is equals to 0. Please check it once more. 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 and 5 to the 10. Then it is minus x. 2 into 2 is what here? 4. And then minus minus it will become plus 5 to the 10. And as it is minus 1 and minus 10. So this will become plus 10. And in between there is a minus sign. So let us solve here. So this is equals to 6 into minus 2 minus 2. 10 is equals to minus 12. Then it is minus x into 20 plus 4 is 24. Plus this is 0 equals to 0. So here I can write here minus of 24 x is equals to minus will come this side and 12 this will become 12 6 the it is what 72 so this implies that if i'm going to solve here the value of x is equals to 72 divided by minus of 24 which is equals to minus 3 so here i'm getting the value of x equals to minus 3 am i clear all of you so the for value of x equals to minus 3 the matrix will be a what matrix singular matrix am i clear or not so this is the condition that you should remember that whenever the given square matrix is a singular matrix that means the value of its determinant will be equals to always zero so now let us solve the next sum children here in the next sum you can see that it's a matrix in which the elements are you can say two of the elements are basically numbers but here trigonometrical ratios are also provided and it is also provided that this particular square matrix of order 2 by 2 is singular so i'll start with the solution since a is a what matrix tell me a is a singular matrix so if a is a singular matrix children these implies that i can write here again the condition the determinant of a will be equals to zero so the determinant of a if i have to calculate that means i'm going to write this one as 2 times of it is sin x and then it is 3 again 1 and again it is 2 times of sin x will be equals to what 0 please 
do the calculation 2 into 2 it will be equals to 4 times of sine square x minus 3 is equals to what 0 so i can write this one as 4 times of sine square x is equals to what 3 again in the next line what we are going to do this implies that i can write here sine square of x is equals to 3 by 4 so this implies that i'll write here sine square of x if i'm going to write here sine x this will be equal to root 3 divided by 2 and here I can take the positive and negative value but as the value of x is lying between 0 and pi in case of you can say sine 0 and pi it will be always positive so that's why I'm not going to take the negative value this condition is very very important children because based on this only I have not taken the negative value am I clear or not so see this sine x is equal to root 3 by 2 so the student used to do mr. one mistake here they used to write here root 3 by 2 as equals to sine of 60 degree the value of sine 60 degree is what here pi by 3 they used to remove this sine and the value of x they are going to take pi by 3 but there will be a mistake because we know in trigonometrical equation if sine theta is equals to sine of alpha in that case we have got a formula theta is equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n alpha am i clear or not and the value of n i'm going to take here 0 1 2 3 like this so if all this value will be substituted here so first of all let me put here the value of sine theta equals to 0 so here i can write here theta is equals to n pi i'll write here n pi plus it is minus 1 to the power n and the value of alpha is what here pi by 3 so the time i am putting n equals to 0 i'll get the value here what theta will be equals to what pi by 3 suppose if you take the value of n equals to 1 so if i'm taking n equals to 1 what i'm going to get tell me pi minus of pi by 3 so that means 3 3 pi minus pi which is equals to what 2 pi by 3 and the next values which i'm going to calculate that will be not in the range of 0 and pi so the only solution will be equals to theta is equals to what pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3 so here it be, means as i have written theta this will be a general formula but here instead of theta we have got we need to get the value of what x so i am going to write here x and here the value of x will be equals to pi by 3 and 2 pi by 3 this is what the solution thank you all of you